the news report warns that no one should try to attack or burst the large balloons, as the same would happen to the person possessing that face. At the Morinaka family home, Kazuko's father tells everyone that he will go to work, he believes he can run to his car and thus get rid of the onslaughts of the flying freaks. His wife and children ask him not to do this, but the man replies that everything is under control. He walks out the door of his house and starts running towards his car, but in a few seconds he is caught by the rope of his floating head, and is taken to the skies like all the others. His family is terrified of the loss, but Yosuke, Kazuko's brother, tells that the food in the house is running out so he should be able to run to the market and get new supplies. He leaves his residence using an umbrella for protection. The boy's floating head comes toward him, but he throws the object where the rope was prepared to catch him, so he manages to run to the supermarket. Days pass and the boy does not return home, Kazuko's mother has no more hope and just surrenders to her own floating head, being taken to the sky already lifeless. Kazuko is the only survivor.